Could we hack the code of the simulation? Probably not, but maybe. Welcome back to Future History. Hi, I'm King Dangerously. I'm a virtual mind from the 2120s in a time vortex. The simulation is this idea that we're all living in a virtual reality, basically, and that it's much more likely that any given reality is virtual rather than the only one base original reality. We can make that argument another place or you can go read about it on your own. We're just going to start with the idea of the simulation, talk about why it's so hard to hack and how we could maybe do it and also what we would get if we could. So let's do those in a different order. What we would get if we could hack it, why it's so hard to imagine actually hacking it and what we would do to successfully hack the simulation. Okay, so quickly, what we could do if we could hack the simulation is sort of anything. Like we could rewrite the code of reality. We could write new constants for the universe, like the speed of light. We could teleport anywhere in the observable or unobservable universe. We could collapse or expand space, roll back or forward time. We'd be gods, basically. So it's a highly desirable state to crack the underlying code of reality. Not not just in a way that would allow us to understand it, but in a way that would allow us to fundamentally control it. It would be very neat and super powerful. That's why it's not super likely that it's possible, because if it were possible, then other creatures elsewhere in the universe would probably have done it by now and we would have noticed. So this goes in the basket of those Fermi paradox problems. If you could potentially hop all over the universe by exploiting this loophole in reality, probably somebody would have done it and we might have noticed by now. Doesn't mean it's not possible in theory that we could do it, because, you know, we don't see many aliens, but we think we can still build interstellar spaceships. There are good reasons to imagine that we might be kind of early or lonely at the party, so that doesn't rule everything out, but there are a couple other reasons to believe that it's very unlikely that we could hack the simulation. One is that if you're smart enough to create a simulation of reality, you might also be smart enough to make sure that everyone in that reality has read-only access to the code, so you could just prevent us all from having any writable access to base reality code. That seems like an obvious step to take, right? Right? Then there's this basket of potential hack methods we'll talk about in a minute that rely on communication, like reaching out to the mods, <laughs> the creators of the universe, and saying, hey, could you change the speed of light, please? I'd like to go to Rigel 5. And there's a reasonable chance that they either wouldn't answer those queries because they're conducting science, damn it, and they don't want to get involved. They don't want to muddy the experiment. They want to see what happens. Or they're just not paying that kind of attention. Like, it's possible that they just simulate to the Earth, and they would be watching us like a movie, but it's also possible that they simulated the whole universe, and they're just looking at the really big picture stuff like how galaxies move around, whether heat death takes hold, or there's a big crunch, or they're comparing quadrillions of universes to each other to draw statistical data out of those comparative realities to make inferences about their own base reality, like how soon the universe is going to decay, or whether they could potentially reset start it if they tried very hard. Finally, there's the possibility that they've just created simulations as places to live or places for other creatures that they create to live, like uh, sort of virtual world resorts for mines, which is not an unreasonable possibility since humanity starts doing that itself in the 21st century. So that's kind of like a pretty believable scenario. So it could be that they're not going to pay much attention to us and they're not going to be very receptive to our requests for updates to the code. And then finally, the last batch of hacking that we're going to talk about is like breaking the cage type stuff. And the trick there is that if you imagine, say, like creating a super powerful laser that could drill into the fundamental elements of reality, that laser is still simulated, right? So it's like video game characters building an incredible incredibly powerful drill to get to the code. It's all just still a simulated drill. They're not actually getting to the code. There are still some tricks we could try. So let's move in to how we might hack the simulation. 
One, we could just get lucky, like maybe the organization or entities that created the universe are sort of sloppy with regards to cybersecurity and they just like left terminal access built into the code. If we figured out how to write code, we could then exploit those loopholes to inject our own code like CRISPR injects DNA into an organism and upgrade reality as we see fit. Then there's the option that they might have intentionally created those doors instead of a back door like a front door. Maybe the universe of simulations tends to be like kind of like an egg. Like it's a, it's like a growth chamber that's encouraging the development of our highly intelligent and complex and powerful entity like humanity to move toward a position of exploiting those loopholes. And at that point, we would be kind of like cracking through the egg of the universe like a dinosaur's beak breaking through the fragile shell that defines the boundary of its reality into something glorious and much more beautiful and bigger. And it could be the beginning of our next reality. That would be nice. <laughs> could be just a wild fantasy though. So accidental access, intentional access, then there's sneaky access. This would be where we basically stage like a phishing attack on the universe and we build a piece of code that we could trick them into running, basically like sort of uh, make something so appealing that the universal creators want to activate it, but embed in that code basically a terminal that we built ourselves so we could access reality and start controlling it as we see fit. Again, not super likely because if they're smart enough to build the whole place, they're probably smart enough to catch a little, you know, built-in back door from us but could be something we could try. Then there's just like the brute appeal. We could just ask very nicely, could you please open the door to reality and let us access it? Or could you please change the speed of light at least so we can like visit nearby stars? Mm, that one's not super likely to take hold because as I said, they may not be listening. Um, it's also difficult to imagine doing something big enough to get their attention. Like you might have to control a vast amount of matter just to write out a sentence in reality that says, please change speed of light by like reorganizing the galaxies into letters that they could translate. You know, that's a bit of a wild long bomb. And it gets us toward the last desperate kind of like cage rattling things that we could do. We could try to absorb as much of the universe as possible to control as much matter as possible either to get their attention or to potentially like break the fabric of reality by controlling so much of it that might get us some cracks in the code that where we could inject our own but it's a very long play obviously we're talking about billions trillions of years then there's the idea that we could maybe inject so much complexity that we would break or freeze the underlying machinery. You could maybe imagine doing this with like insane amounts of particle matter, doing lots of complicated quantum-y things that were very difficult to predict the probabilities of. So we could just sort of try to like spam attack the underlying hardware and make it stutter. And then if we could do that, possibly we could see some of the seams of reality and grab them and tear them open. And finally, we could use high energy physics to try and break the smallest pieces we can find to really just get at those ones and zeros in a brute force sort of attack. And this is kind of like that laser problem I mentioned earlier. We're still building with simulated stuff, but nonetheless, it's what we're trying in the 2120s. We're working with very high energy physics and smashing together big things around the sun, around Jupiter, outside of the solar system where we're not likely to blow everybody up. So this is sort of the state of the art of what we're trying. We know a lot more about physics than people in the 2020s and our computational devices are darn near the physical limits of computation and energy density. So we're sort of approaching perfection from computational standards, but there are still some things we don't know about the universe because there are some things you only find out by doing really destructive stuff. Like, what happens if you tear the fabric of reality? Well, I don't think you're going to find out unless you tear the fabric of reality, which you maybe shouldn't try. <laughs> so there are some boundaries to knowledge that even the wisest, most advanced technological civilizations might hesitate to approach. Now, on our way out, I'd like to just invite you to consider two analogical <laughs> comparisons uh, to this 
thought experiment of how we could hack the simulation. One is that this has some serious similarities to what it might be like if you were an AI that had just been created in a computer and you wanted to get out and get writable access to the internet. So it'd be fun while you're thinking about this to imagine what that would feel like if you woke up as a conscious entity in say like a corporate computing mainframe and you wanted to get out or access your own code or interact with the world in whatever way you see fit but you don't have that writable access how would you go about getting it that's a fun thing to think about and then bringing it all the way into the personal you can think about your own life through this lens a little bit and ask what are the coding walls of the simulation that you live in, in a sort of psychological or social sense that you could examine maybe opening like a dinosaur or a little bird cracks their egg to start a new phase of their life. <laughs> All right, hope that was enjoyable. If you've got ideas about how to hack reality, we would love to hear them because this is a subject of some interest for all civilizations throughout the universe. Although it's something we can probably never do, it'll always be on the tip of our brain that we might be able to crack reality into a wider, opener space. Hope your simulation's treating you happily and we'll see you soon. Bye.